Hello, and welcome to another episode of Optimal Anesthesia, where we break down complex medical topics into easy-to-understand conversations. Today, we're delving into the intricate world of platelet dysfunction in renal failure and how a fascinating solution called cryoprecipitate comes to the rescue. Let's start with the first chapter, Defective Platelet Adhesion. It's like platelets at a Velcro party, but the sticking isn't quite right. Why? Because of a factor called Von Willebrand factor. Think of it as giving these platelets a boost, like their very own superhero treatment called Desmopressin. Now, onto the second chapter, Platelet Secretion Defect. Picture platelets being a bit shy at the chemical party. They're not releasing secrets because of higher levels of prostacyclin and nitric oxide. And wait, there's a storage problem too, involving chemicals like CAMP, ADP, serotonin, and thromboxane A2. It's like they need a makeover for their storage space. Chapter 3 takes us to impaired GP2B3A function. Imagine a key platelet receptor not doing its job. It's like a gathering where the crucial player is missing. There's a buildup of parts from a protein called fibrinogen. It's as if the puzzle pieces for platelet clumps are not fitting right. Next up, altered platelet membrane composition in Chapter 4. The platelet outfit is changing. These tiny cells are going through a wardrobe shift, affecting how they stick together and form clots. It's like a fashion show, but for platelets. First stop, fibrinogen replacement. Imagine a world where fibrinogen, the glue for blood clots, needs a hero. Enter cryoprecipitate, swooping in with a concentrated dose of fibrinogen, like a power-up to ensure stable and effective blood clots. It's the rescue mission we've been waiting for, mitigating the risk of prolonged bleeding. Now, let's talk about enhanced platelet function. In this chapter, cryoprecipitate takes center stage with its secret weapons, von Willebrand factor, VWF, and factor 8. These elements play crucial roles in platelet adhesion and activation, acting like the dynamic duo for platelets facing dysfunction. Cryoprecipitate becomes the ultimate sidekick, addressing adhesion defects and supporting overall platelet function. Moving on to qualitative platelet defects. Uremic patients often face a plot twist with qualitative platelet issues, like impaired secretion and wonky receptors. Here comes cryoprecipitate, armed with a rich blend of clotting factors. It's like the missing puzzle piece, contributing to improved platelet responsiveness and function, turning the tide in our platelet saga. Last but not least, our grand finale, multifactorial support for hemostasis. Cryoprecipitate doesn't just stop at fibrinogen and platelet factors. No, it's a team player, bringing in a variety of clotting proteins. It's like the Avengers assembling for a balanced and effective hemostatic response. This comprehensive approach tackles multiple coagulation challenges in uremic patients, sealing the fate of bleeding complications. That's all for today's Optimal Anesthesia. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of platelet dysfunction in renal failure and the superhero solution, cryoprecipitate. Stay tuned for more fascinating medical insights. Until next time, I'm signing off.